Hey Aquarius and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your April 2019 love reading. This is a general reading. I am going to try to pull more energies than just love because I will be doing a separate love energy. But the last couple I have done has been mostly love. So I can only um, deliver the message that comes through. So take what fits and leave what don't. I will get you chipped down here. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarius for the month of April 2019. All right. The first card out is Death in Reverse. You also have the Two of Cups in Reverse. You have the star. Oh, that's amazing energy. You also have the three of swords in reverse. The devil in reverse. And the three of wands in reverse. What energy is Aquarius letting go? All right. And one more. All right, guys, the bottom of your deck for the month of April is the Ace of Wands. So finding some new passion, finding, um, yeah, wow, you guys do actually have um, a lot of things coming up in the month of April, um, coming into May after um, purging some of this um, energy from your life. So we'll go over what you're going to release, what you're leaving behind, you're not taking into April with you. Um, you're not taking um, any situation with love into April with you, to be quite honest with you, Aquarius. This reading is most definitely walking away from a situation um, and choosing to keep your cup to yourself, choosing to love yourself um, after ending a situation where um, you just couldn't get it off the ground with this person, um, not not being able to create this, this situation this could be um, separating from the mother or father of your children or having a falling out with your own mother. Uh, there could have been too many um, soups spoiling the broth here. So you're leaving this uh, group energy behind. This also could be to do with work, though, as well. You could be no longer um, picking up all the extra work at your job and then letting everyone else take credit for it. Um, but... For a lot of you, you are leaving a uh, third-party situation just because you have the Three of Swords in your main energy. The Empress is represented by the Mistress, and you do have the Three of Pentacles. So you're allowing that energy to, um, to end. You're no longer going to invest your cup into somebody who has other energies. You're not going to um, give this person... Um, a second chance, even if they asked for it, or you're no longer holding out for this person to come back. You could have been holding out for this person to leave a spouse to give you another chance, and you're no longer doing that. Um, this could be somebody of the fire sign nature, somebody who's very um, action oriented, very, uh, they, they act before they think type of energy. You're leaving all that behind. You're not bringing it in with you to um, the month of April, which um, I can see why, because somebody put you through the ringer, um, Aquarius. Let me see what I want for clarifiers. Let's go with, hmm, let's go with the vice versa, I think. Yeah. Okay. So you're coming, oops, <laughs> the, de the card that came out, the death card and the devil card. Wow. Okay, so you're coming into April um, resisting, kind of holding back on purging out this energy. You um, know that you don't want this energy anymore, but you're just, you're kind of holding back, um, kind of afraid to let go of the, of the familiar, I'm hearing. Why is this death in reverse here for Aquarius in April 2019? What are they letting go? You're just about to the end of this cycle, uh, Aquarius. You're just about to let it go, but you just aren't quite there yet. But you will by the time you are. we are into fully into the month of April. What do we got here? Yeah, you are um, 
you're going through a major life transformation. You're going through a spiritual rebirth. You're allowing things to purge that um, no longer serve you in the month of April. You're coming into the month um, having tried to refuse this, but in the month of April, that will come in the upright. Um, you, This spiritual transformation, this rebirth, is coming after the ending of uh, a Ten of Pentacles situation. You are leaving a commitment. You are leaving somebody that you thought you would spend um, and create a life with. You see on this side, it has the couple. The side, he's by himself. So you are purging out this person that you had wanted to build a life with. Um, and walking away from this energy that is very... Um, this person is, is very brash when it comes to your feelings. Um, it's like, as long as they're okay, everybody should be okay. Um, and they're saying some very hurtful things to you. Um, and thank goodness you are releasing that in April, um, Aquarius, because you do, you do not deserve that. You can build this life and create this life very easily, um, on your own and draw in, um, a vibrational match for you because you're going through a big spiritual rebirth. You're, um, you're allowing the situation that was emotionally draining to you to end. You thought this person was a soulmate. You thought this person could have been like a twin flame energy. And you are quickly realizing the, the longer you, um, are away from this person, the, the more you invest in yourself and heal, you are realizing that this person isn't necessarily maybe who you thought they were. Um, let's see why the two of cups is here in reverse. That page of swords really wants to come out. I've seen it about pop twice now. So you could be finding out information about this person. But why is the two of cups here for Aquarius in reverse? Peace Spirit 1 card. That two of pentacles keeps... There it is. Okay, so... Um, this person came in very quick into your life. This person kind of swept you off your feet. This person was kind of reckless, though. Reckless with your heart. Um, and you're finding out some information about this person. Um, could be in relation to they're possibly married. They're still connected with somebody. But... Um, but it really drains your emotions. It really made you sad. It really broke your heart to know that this isn't what you thought it was. To know that this isn't moving forward in the way that you thought it was going to in the past. And um, you are going to also... Um, you're, finding out some, you're finding out some kind of information either late March or early April. And it's going to allow you to release this. Because this relationship has already separated. This is already in a, um, like they could have ghosted you. This is already in a time of silence. You already know about this person having somebody else. You could have at the beginning, but they told you they were leaving you. And you were sitting here waiting to give them your cup. But, so you already knew about this other person. But you're finding out some sort of information. And it's just like, all right, I'm done. I can release it now. I no longer need to hold on to this situation. I can move forward just fine. Next card out is the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. But um, you're like, okay, I'm no longer holding off moving forward. I'm no longer holding off this transformation. I'm no longer holding off letting, holding on to this person who already has a family and um, is very uh, selfish in the way that they interacted with me, I'm done now. I can let go. I can move into this time of healing. I can move into this time of rejuvenation where I can nurture myself, where I can love myself and replenish my own energy and um, and just find that beautiful healing that the divine will offer you, will offer you when you go um, in search of it. Nine of Pentacles wanted to pop there. Let's see if it comes out. Why is the star here for Aquarius? Oh, yeah. The devil is here again. So this is a very strong magnetic bond that you have to this person. And that's why it's so hard to walk away from them. That's why it's so hard to go through this rebirth. That's why you uh, thought they were your soulmate. That's why you thought there was this connection that could stand the test of time. But they have toxic behaviors. Um, they are bound to somebody else. They are tied to somebody else. You already know this. So if this isn't you, this isn't for you. So, But um, you need healing from the hurt that was caused 
us, by them being tied to somebody else, by the deep connection the two of you shared, and yet they couldn't break free from that devil. They couldn't break free from that bond of being um, tied to somebody else in the form of marriage or um, a, uh, like a, a spiritual connection the two of them shared that is that was connecting them. So um, more than likely a spouse. Um, but you are going to heal from this toxic relationship. This started out beautiful. It started out very, like, just blessed and divine. And and it quickly turned toxic um, because they couldn't break that tie. They couldn't break that bond from somebody else. And they just became toxic um, to you, to the relationship. And now you need to take healing, um, take time to heal from that toxic connection. And I do see you are doing that in April with the three of swords in reverse. Good for you, Aquarius. Why is the three of swords here in reverse for Aquarius in April? What are they healing from? Yes, you are... Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. You are getting over this heartache and you are releasing the ties that bind you. You are opening your eyes to what was really going on here because love was blinding you. They were, you weren't wanting to see what was right in front of your face, but because you loved them so much, but now you are healing from this heartache. You are realizing you are not stuck. You are untying your, yourself from this emotional prison, from this, uh, from the stuck place that you've been in and you are seeing the truth of the divine after you're healing this heartache and you are going to get out of this position of being stuck, stuck on this person, stuck in this situation, stuck emotionally from moving forward. And that would definitely suggest why the next card out is the devil in reverse. You are breaking free from this toxic situation where before the healing, you it was in the upright. Now it is in the reverse. You are getting out of this toxic place mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Why is the devil here in reverse for... Okay. So you... Yeah. You are finding healing within the moon. You are... The, the cycles of the moon is bringing you healing and allowing you to release... Please do a release ritual in April or the end of March, the 21st, I think it is, and 22nd, and February. Do a release ritual with that moon to break free from this toxic situation, to break free from this energy. <coughs> Excuse me. But this is also saying that um, secrets are coming out. Uh, like I said, you found out something that this person was hiding from you. That secret is coming out and it is allowing you, it's like giving yourself permission to break free. I've had enough. I'm done. I'm over this person. I'm over this heartache and I am no longer going to be um, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually bound by this person and you are going to break free of that toxic energy. After secrets come out, make sure you do a release ritual for those of you that resonates with. All right, why is the three of wands here in reverse for Aquarius and April? Ace of Cups at the bottom of your deck again. Okay, so um, the three of wands is here, closing the distance between somebody. Um, and your two cards out were the Queen of Wands and the uh, Knight of Pentacles. I'm seeing this two different ways. Um, you could be closing the distance between um, between you and somebody else. Um, you could be moving in with this couple. This could be like a mother and a father, um, friends, siblings um, that you are moving in with because the distance is moving closer. Um, you're trying to manifest um, a new situation, and these two people are going to help you. Whether you move in with them or not, that was just one example. You're trying to manifest a new life. You're trying to get away from this energy. You're trying to leave this behind, heal your heart, what you are doing, and this couple is going to step in and help you bring your ships in, bring you to a place where you can manifest Um helping you believe in yourself. This um, could be a very spiritual couple, uh, but this this couple is going to help you immensely bring in your blessings, 
know, know how to manifest, um, bring you to the place you're meant to be, whether that's a physical location, an emotional place, a spiritual place, they are going to bring you to a place of healing with it being right under the star. And, and they're going to help you get your confidence back. Um, with the three of wands, um, if you're not dealing with a certain couple, this situation, this healing situation from this devil energy after you heal and the stars align, your blessings will come in and it's going to bring you confidence. There's a situation, an opportunity that's going to open its door to you that's going to allow you to be confident, to um, have self-assurance, to know that you can do this, to know that you can manifest this situation into your life, to bring in stability, to focus on your family, your children, and um, um, just have a new passion for life. You remember your bottom of the deck originally was the Ace of Wands. So sparking a fire under you. This is also, Aquarius, very important to you. You need to meditate. You see how she is eyes closed in nature? Get out in nature if possible, but most importantly, meditate. Find your grounding. You need to ground your energy and um, work on your stability. And then you'll be able to manifest a couple of th or different things in. So just to recap that last card, because I just threw in like three scenarios there. So either you are unable to um, manifest at this moment um, until this couple comes in and helps you spiritually, mentally, physically, however it works. Um, this is a couple for some of you helping you manifest your dreams for a um, a different group of you. Um, you won't be able to manifest your dreams, your blessings until you um, get in nature and ground your energy. Your energy is kind of all over the place. After you come out of this toxic relationship and heal, you're going to need to learn to meditate, 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 and work on your stability, your finances, having that sense of um, stability within yourself and be able to support your family, that kind of energy. When you ground yourself and focus on your finances and your stability, emotionally, um, financially, spiritually stability, you will then be able to manifest what it is you're trying to bring in. And um, for another group of you, you are going to be able to manifest your dreams when you believe them. You have to believe. Right now, you're lacking faith that they're coming in for you because you're getting out of this shitty situation. You can't really see the light at the end of the tunnel. But when you gain your self-confidence back, when you know and are self-assured, if you, you know you believe in yourself, that you can make your dreams a reality, and you can do it from a place of being grounded um, and ground your energy and and believe in yourself, but stay in the moment, that's when you're going to be able to manifest your dreams. But they are here for you. The three of wands in your outcome card is an amazing energy because you can manifest whatever it is that you want right now. And Aquarius, you are to keep an open mind. Your soulmate is different from what you are expecting or from your usual type. This, you thought this was your soulmate. This is not your soulmate. This is just a toxic um, karmic situation um, where you're meant to take your lesson, lessons, apply those to your life, and move forward being a better you. This person came into your life to help uh, to help teach you, to help you become a better person, to help you ascend to a higher level, to help you build who you are meant to be. It was fated in that sense, but it was it was meant to come in and teach you um, how great you like to come in and teach you your lessons that you needed to learn in this lifetime and to help you become the great person that you are because this is going to push you into a beautiful place of healing. So keep an open mind because once you release this energy, once you release fully and heal from this, that is when your uh, uh, soulmate is going to come in for you. But it's not who you expect. So make sure you're grounding your energy and meditating and allow those blessings to come in. Aquarius, I hope you have an amazing April. Your energy here looks great. You are leaving behind the bullshit and you are moving towards your dreams, which is an amazing, um, amazing energy to have. So you have made it through the worst of times. You are releasing the worst of times and you are now heading towards the best of times. So um, relax, enjoy, heal, and move forward. All right, guys, I send you love, light, and God bless.